News flash, the US has shut down the Grand Canyon. Yes, the much loved beauty of the Grand Canyon had been sealed off from visitation with militarized forces in the perimeter. This happened after an unrecognizable drone flew over the canyon and caught images that had never been seen and probably should not be seen. The US government, after reviewing these photographs, made an immediate response by sealing the canyon off visitors and confiscating these images from the public saying it was for safety reasons. The big question is, what could the U.S. be hiding from the world about the canyon? History of the Grand Canyon While the Grand Canyon was birthed around six million years ago, the rocks at its bottom date tell a different story, that it was created as far as 1.8 billion years ago. And by what? the intense flow of the Colorado River. This immense flux of this river and its eroding abilities revealed a slice of Earth's cake showcasing nearly two billion years of geological history. Long before explorers discovered this wonder of Earth, the Grand Canyon was home to peoples of older cultures and even some of modern day. One of such cultures was the ancestral Puebloans who left behind some carved dwellings and artifacts in the canyon. The Hopi, Navajo, Havasupai, and Hualapai Pie tribes also considered the canyon a sacred spot. So who discovered the Grand Canyon? The first documented discovery of the Grand Canyon was made by Garcia Lopez de Cardenas, a Spanish explorer in 1540. However, it wasn't until the mid 19th century that the canyon was extensively explored. One of such explorations was carried out in 1869 by John Wesley Powell. His journey provided the many details of the canyon and significantly contributed to its recognition and mapping today. The finesse of the canyon soon caught the nation's attention so that by the early 20th century, efforts to preserve this natural treasure began. President Theodore Roosevelt visited the canyon in 1903 and declared, leave it as it is. Through his advocacy, the canyon became a national monument in 1908. Preservation attempts stepped up new levels in 1919 when the canyon was labeled a national park by President Woodrow Wilson. Today. The Grand Canyon National Park attracts around 6 million visitors each year, enticing tourists with activities such as hiking, rafting, and cycling. One interesting fact about the canyon is that it creates its own weather. Its massiveness and elevations cause different climate zones within the canyon. For example, the South Rim experiences cold winters with snow, while the inner canyon can reach temperatures as high as 100 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. The Grand Canyon, a natural wonder of unique features. From its geological marvels to having its own weather, the Grand Canyon is one of the wonders of nature. Here are some of the most special features that make the Grand Canyon a must visit. The Colorado River, the lifeblood of the canyon, the Colorado River, creates breaks between the walls of the canyon. Over millions of years, this river sculpted the canyon, creating the breathtaking landscape we appreciate today. For tourists at the canyon, the river is also a place for adventures, offering breathtaking whitewater rafting. It supports a rich ecosystem along its banks, providing water for a good load of plant and animal species. Ecosystem diversity, even more remarkable, is the wide range of ecosystems from desert scrub to lush forests in the canyon. This diversity is attributed by explorers to the significant variations in the canyon's elevation. The south rim, being as high as 7,000 feet, bears pine forests and cooler temperatures. On the flip side, the inner levels of the canyon, which can drop to below 2,000 feet, are much hotter and drier, supporting desert flora like cacti and yucca. This range of habitats allows for a wide array of wildlife, including mule deer, bighorn sheep, and over 300 different birds. Spectacular vistas. The Grand Canyon is famous for its jaw-dropping vistas. Points like Mather Point, Yavapai Observation Station, and Desert View Watchtower offer panoramic views that elaborate the canyon's scale and beauty. Sunrises and sunsets are magical, with the light playing off the rock formations, creating amazing displays of colors and shadows, conditions for perfect photo opportunities. The Grand Canyon and other places. There are many other places and geological formations that offer the same breathtaking feeling as the Grand Canyon. Here are a few places that compare to the grandeur and beauty of the canyon. Bryce Canyon, USA, located in southern Utah. Bryce Canyon National Park 
is famous for its unique geological structures called hoodoos, tall, thin spires of rock trued from the bottom of arid basins. Unlike the Grand Canyon, which is just one canyon, the Bryce Canyon is a series of natural amphitheaters sculpted into the edge of a high plateau. The vibrant red, orange, and white colors of the rocks, combined with the thousands columns of hoodoos, create a beautiful landscape. Visitors can always explore numerous trails and enjoy stargazing, as Bryce Canyon has some of the darkest skies in the United States. Copper Canyon, Mexico. Copper Canyon, or Barranca del Cobre, comprises six canyons located in the Sierra Madre Occidental in northwestern Mexico. Combined, they are larger and deeper than the Grand Canyon. The canyons get their name from the copper green hue of their walls, and they offer a variety of landscapes, from rugged mountains to lush valleys. The region is home to the Tarahumara people, known for their long distance running abilities. The scenic Copper Canyon Railway offers a great journey through the very center of this stunning area with views of cliffs, waterfalls, and rivers. Fish River Canyon, Namibia. Fish River Canyon, located in southern Namibia, is the largest canyon in Africa and the second largest in the world after the Grand Canyon. It stretches for about 100 miles is up to 16 miles wide and reaches depths of up to 1,800 feet. The canyon offers spectacular views and is a haven for hikers, particularly the challenging Fish River Canyon Trail, which covers 52 miles and takes about five days to complete. The trail winds through the rugged terrain past hot springs and along the Fish River, providing a remote and exhilarating wilderness experience. You might want to check some of these places. Nature will always surprise you. Why the U.S. shut down the Grand Canyon? In early 2024, a drone pilot was flying his drone over a remote area of the Grand Canyon. While drones are generally restricted in national parks due to safety, privacy, and environmental concerns, this particular drone managed to capture footage that left authorities in shock. The drone's camera recorded what appeared to be an undisclosed man-made structure hidden deep within the canyon, an area totally inaccessible to visitors. The area was immediately cordoned off, and an official statement was released announcing the closure of the Grand Canyon National Park. The announcement cited safety concerns and the need for further investigation as the primary reasons for the closure and the media had their stories to tell. While some believe the drone had uncovered an ancient archaeological site unknown to the public, others speculated it might be a secret military installation or a hidden government facility used for undisclosed political or scientific purposes. Conspiracy theories didn't lag, postulating that the structure could be a base for extraterrestrial activity considering the fascination with UFO sightings in the American Southwest. Weeks after the initial discovery and closure, a press conference was held to address concerns. They revealed that the structure was a previously classified research facility used by a government agency for geological and environmental studies related to climate change. The facility's existence was kept secret to prevent vandalism, theft, or any potential national security risks. The officials explained that the drone footage compromised the security of the site, creating a need for immediate and comprehensive review of its operations and security protocols. They assured the public that there was no danger posed by the facility itself, and that its research was entirely focused on scientific endeavors. The shutdown of the Grand Canyon following the drone incident explain the complex nature of managing and protecting one of the nation's most treasured natural sites. While the discovery of a classified research facility may not be as sensational as some of the wilder theories, it shows the importance of balancing transparency with security. The closure was aimed at protecting the integrity of the canyon after all. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments. And remember to like and subscribe for more intriguing discoveries like this. See you in the next video.